Hey gang, Jim Bowers here on Bowers95713, your demon seed on YouTube. Hey, I want to introduce you to my new rent-a-dog. I'm actually dog sitting. This is Max, and uh, Max is a pugly or a beagle and a pug mix. And uh, anyway, I wanted to check in with you today. I've got a few things going on. One, I'd like to invite you to our Alt Air website. It's A L T A I R, and it's over on Facebook. Check in with us over there. What we're doing is I'm working for a new company called Alt Air, and we're going to theme parks all over the United States to shoot video of their new ride attractions. So what we're looking for is pilots that are interested in helping us out. We'll give you admission tickets to the park where you can take you and a spotter and maybe your whole family to the theme park for the day. Have a lot of fun, have a great time. All we ask is for an hour or two of your time to catch some aerial video of whatever that new ride is. Maybe some ground video. You might even get yourself on camera if you want to. That sort of thing. So check us out over on Alt Air. Also, today in the Wall Street Journal, they're talking about the new ban on drones in all of the national parks. Well, they quoted me in the story, and today is Saturday, June the 21st. And so check out today's edition of the Wall Street Journal. It's in the hard copy edition and online. And he quotes me as uh, talking about drones and how it was a knee-jerk reaction from the National Park Service. And I'm in kind of a letter writing campaign trying to get the National Park Service to allow drones on a limited basis. At least let us come in there for four days, maybe five days a year under supervision to create our art and shoot video of these majestic national parks around the country. So uh, check with the National Park Service and send them a letter yourself if you want to. Hey gang, just a quick heads up while we're talking about it. We just picked up this new Eagle Tree autopilot system. These are about $235 on ready-made RC. So uh, Eagle Tree makes it. It's a lot smaller now. It used to be three times this size. So very, very compact. And this thing will give you all kinds of information. Let me show you. This is the GPS puck and magnetic compass. This is your voltage sensor and it also supplies power to the vector. And this is the, uh, the main flight controller unit. Now the main flight controller unit on these gives you altitude, speed, direction back to home, autopilot, RPMs, temperature, uh, it gives you all kinds of information. It even gives you the the level line that shows you her, your horizon line. So when you're climbing or descending, it'll show you whether you're going below the horizon line or above the horizon line. And you can also turn that off in flight. So if you're upside down in the clouds, you know whether or not you're inverted or whatever, even though you can't see. And if it gets in your way, you can shut it off on the fly so you're flying with just a clear screen. The data that you're getting, you can actually change the colors of it. So let's say you want your battery voltage to be red on your uh, display screen. You can change it to red or blue or green or whatever color you want to change it to. So it's all uh, configurable and modifiable. You can do all kinds of interesting stuff with these. Hey Max, what are you doing buddy? <clears throat> hey guys, this is Terry, my flying buddy and uh, he's going to be installing the Eagle Tree autopilot system in a sky eye drone that we've been flying and we've been getting some just outstanding performance out of this airplane sky eye and you can get it on hobby king and i think you can get it on ready-made rc terry's going to give us a quick heads up on how you would install the Eagle Tree autopilot system well the first thing is what we're running now is the Easy OSD. The Easy OSD is literally uh, the same size as this, but on this system, you're getting everything all in one autopilot, uh, the flight controller, the, uh, the uh, voltage indicator, the whole, the whole nine yards. So you get to get rid of all of this 
huge crap and you put this little stuff here to take a look at this in here yeah you got a lot of stuff in there so you've got the three axis orange uh, a flight stable in there right now so you're going to replace that with the eagle tree system right. correct you get rid of that and the easy osd and replace all that bulky uh electronic equipment with this simple little three box system this is the the gps antenna the voltage indicator and the power supply for this system so it powers it directly so it powers from it but what an incredible simple system and, and is it relatively easy to install? Uh, you'll have to go on the computer and set it up uh, for uh, the height if you lose control of it, how fast you want it to come back, with the height you want it to come back, how big of a circle you want it to circle around. So in point. other words, if you lose signal while you're flying and you lose uh, reception to your airplane, it automatically returns to home. That's correct or automatically returns to an area where you can pick up the reception. It takes the the factor of safety and multiplies it just over the top and the fun factor over the top because now you don't have to worry about hurting your airplane or crashing into somebody or something. So it won't auto land itself, it'll just circle around you when it returns to home? Right, I suppose if you had it set properly on the glide pattern and it battery ran out it would probably land itself hopefully you're in a field yeah so there you go all right the eagle tree autopilot gps system and it's uh, uh available on ready-made rc okay there it is gang the uh the uh, new autopilot system put out by eagle tree it's about 230 dollars and uh, it replaces the orange receiver, the uh, uh, three-axis stabilizer, and uh, it's a pretty neat system, so you might want to check it out. My name is Jim Bowers, and thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks, and have a great day.